Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Pixels. Coco and Kimi are here with Lay and Buttons. We are continuing the letter. Yay! Oh, music! <laughs> I got, had to focus. <sighs> okay, we're back into this, huh? The morning starts off quiet. Do you have a fan or something on? Uh, it's my computer fan. Alright. Do you need me to go on push talk? No, I only... Uh, actually, it might be me. I do have my fan off. It's really far away though, so I don't know if that's... That's all good. Okay. I mean, I don't really hear anything, so I'm assuming it's me. Um... Even though... Even the whole of... <sighs> English, I know. English is a difficult language, and it really sucks. English is a bastard child of a language that just shanks people in an alleyway and takes things that are like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Buttons has said this before, too. <laughs> it's only my major. It's only my degree. <laughs> uh. Even the whole of Salem Mall residences seems unusually quiet. The open hallway when I step out is devoid of tenants. No sounds coming from the other units either. It's almost as if something's brewing on the horizon. Can you get that gravelly voice back a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> a peaceful night's sleep still does wonders for the mood, though. I can't even remember the last time I've slept without anything urgent interrupting. It's a nice break from all the bad news lately. If it wasn't for the incessant buzzing in my pocket waking me up, I'd sleep in. Yo, same. <laughs> the ringing has stopped before I could move somewhere private, but sleep has also been effectively kicked out of my system by then. Pity, I could use a little more rest until I have to face the other storm. Of course, I owe Rebecca an explanation. It doesn't matter if it's the whole truth or another hastily spun tale. Although, I haven't really figured out how to go about this yet. Unlike Zack and Isabella, who don't usually ask questions and are content with what little I could share, Rebecca's rather quick on the trigger. Understatement of the damn millennia. <laughs> <laughs> It will have to be set aside for later, though. Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. Uh, cool why is the phone so broken? For an Asian guy. He breaks everything, remember? Oh my god, that ring I forgot <laughs> about the ring toad. <laughs> Better not lie. Please read your line so I can get past this. <laughs> the chief's name stares back at me, almost as if it's mocking me. Sad. <laughs> just it's the fucking god! It would have been nice to just chill after last night, or maybe half listen to the news. Sure, it's the same thing we've been hearing lately. Still Pete standing outside in a chilly Luxmore morning on the phone with my boss. I'm gonna kill Ashton. <laughs> the coast. I'm gonna kill Ashton. Because I have to listen to this while trying to read these lines and it's super distracting. <laughs> Sighing, I answered, if only to get this over with. Oh, that's a tone I didn't expect from him at this hour. Just thinking how this will go already gives me a headache. Immediately, I reach up and pinch the bridge of my nose to stave it off. Out of curiosity. Oh, hey folks, guess what? Since Discord has uh, audio sharing now, they can hear everything. Yay! Yep. So it's a miracle! <laughs> What's the delay like? Is it... Does it... It's, it's instant. Nice. Yeah, it's like, pretty much instant from what I can tell. Okay. Like, I pretty much answered right after the this chief... This is why I won't uh, ever drink myself senseless. Thanks, Ashton. Thanks for interrupting me, you asshole. 
I'm gonna fucking kick you out the window, kick you down the <laughs> stairs, right into the ghost's arms. She can make love to you, and we get done with this. <laughs> That's a mental illness. I definitely wanted. Nothing, Chief. A pleasant morning to you, too. He's probably calling to rag on me or complain about his wife, which is really none of my business unless it affects my case. It seems like the usual rich man cheats on wife deal. Although I would have followed up on it if it weren't for if it were somebody else's wife. But figuring it's the chief's, hey, I trust him to come clean if the missus is related to the right shady dealings. This is why I left before they even hauled the woman out last night. I'm not going to go around investigating cheating husbands and wives, and it's probably just that. Chief appears to have a different idea in mind, though. There's nothing pleasant in the morning. Anyway, <laughs> where are you? I told you millions of times before to keep your lines open. Sorry, but in this picture of the chief, uh, he's got a massive underbite. <laughs> like, I'm just noticing, like, his jaw is really set forward and, like, his lower yeah. teeth are just like, <laughs> I honestly just assumed it's because the picture was taken when he was done with Ashton's shit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. He did, and not only him. Zach, Rebecca, Isabella, all of them have said the same thing numerous times in the past. Maybe you should do it then. Nah. Nah. It's not like anyone's looking for me at any point in time. Come on. <laughs> but I was undercover last night. Phone call's the last thing I want to happen when there are other things I need to focus on at that time. Besides, we have radios and work-issued phones. Why isn't he using those channels if this is urgent? Just woke up, sir. As awesome as it is to hear your voice this morning, it really is early. <laughs> if you could give me a few minutes just to wake myself up, that'd be swell. No need for that. This won't take long. Is something wrong? Am I needed at the precinct ASAP? Oh no, everything's good over there. Just... Look, kid. Pray. Don't take this personally, alright? Oh, no. You're off the Luxbourne firm case. Start today. Oh. Well, I did not expect to hear that either. This must be some kind of cosmic joke. I allow some awkward seconds to pass. Chief must be pulling another one of his awful pranks. Out of his bad mood or a severe hangover, maybe? Everyone knows that when given the chance, he exercises no control with his drinking. If it wasn't for his wife causing a stir, he'd probably be trashed an hour at, in at the party. He likely drank more after they threw her out of the ballroom. Besides, his sense of humor has never been good. It's just infuriating most of the time. But when he doesn't follow it up... If I sound a tiny bit frustrated speaking to my own superior, I'm not the one to blame. Wait, no. What? Are you kidding, Chief? Is this one of your practical jokes again? The temps won't say anything about it, but I... It's not that. They're orders from the higher ups. Ooh. Uh, the higher ups. Yes, my favorite word. Since when did the higher-ups ever care about what the criminal investigation department did? As far as I could tell, they don't give a hoot if CID is filled with cold cases as long as we keep the spending low. When I need to view those old case files, though, they're locked away in the archives. You're gonna have to check with the higher-ups. I need access to these reports. See if the higher-ups would allow it. Every step. 
every move in this case. There isn't one that hasn't been gated by some authority. If it's not the chief, it's the commissioner, or so they always tell me. It makes me wonder why they even bothered assigning it to anyone. Not a single one of them has done anything to help move the case. And they wonder why it is t it has taken this long for even a hint of progress to show? You can't just drop this on me. You can't just take me off like that. Yes, yes I it. can. And I'm sorry, Ashton. You're a good detective. One of the best I've seen in years, but... Three years, Chief. Three years! Three years since that anonymous tech leak blew up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since Luke Wright's name was openly linked to several nasty dealings within Luxborn's corporate world, some of them involving deaths. Three years, and I was the only one who made it this far, made this much progress that officers with more experience weren't able to do when they handled this case. Just within a year, and with barely any help from the damn brass at it. Of course, I'll be pissed. Do you know what would have happened if I didn't work my ass off on this thing? If I didn't dedicate a whole year of my time on it? It would have gone cold, like every fucking case Luke Wright has been linked to. I saved this from getting thrown into the archives, sir. I'm getting close. If you could just... I'm fully aware of what you've done, Frey, but the Commissioner hasn't been happy with your progress. Still too slow by their standards. <sighs> too slow? Ooh, that's a scary face. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see how well, Ashton's supposed to die. What about those reports I filed? I've documented every freaking thing for them. I've given you every important lead I can gather. Isn't that enough? They need results, not a bunch of research papers. Not one baseless assumption after another. Concrete proof, Frey. I'm really sorry. They've already made a decision. They're going to pass this on to someone who's been in the force longer. Someone who has more experience. Someone who has more experience? They meant nothing by it, but you're still too young to work on a case this big. Chief, I've already done more than what those old farts ever did behind their desks. All of it, within just a year of being assigned to this. Watch your language, Frey. Those are your superiors, your... I'm not some damn rookie fresh out of training! I'm as qualified as they are! You're acting like a rookie. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I need to grab a tissue. What is the dialogue making you cry? I didn't think you got attached to Ash in that fast. <laughs> so, like, clearly, this dumb bitch is going to continue to investigate the fucking case, whether his boss wants him to or not. <laughs> like, obviously, clearly. So, when do we get our QTE police chase? <laughs> <laughs> that would be painful for Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry. Allergy season sucks. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Great when, like, you can just barely breathe through your nose. It's awesome. So it's like, oh, I need to blow my nose so bad. All right. Futile. I know it is. They'd never say it within my earshot, but from the very minute I stepped on into their precinct, a lot of them had underestimated me. Their stares alone to the assignments I get. To them, I'm still just a kid. Too young, too green, too inexperienced. 
And once they pull that card on me, every argument I have gets thrown out the window. No matter how logical it is, how much I've accomplished, what the records say, or the amount of work I've put into every investigation that they've thrown my way. We're all aware of your skills, kids. You wouldn't have that badge and rank if you weren't good enough. However, this case is just not for you. Too high profile, too risky to put a good officer like you in arm's way. Can he even hear himself? That reasoning is odd in itself. No one joins this line of work without knowing the dangers of it. Don't I get a second chance? You said it yourself. I'm a good detective. It'll just be a matter of time before we can close this. It doesn't matter what I think, Frey. You're off the case, and that's final. I expect all related files and documents on my desk by Monday morning. And don't even try to go touch anything. I know how hard-headed and determined you are. Chief, please. A few more weeks. I'll have the proper evidence left on your desk by then. I swear it won't take longer than that. Fred, it's too late, boy. I've already informed the other officers. You aren't to be allowed access until you've been given a new assignment. Help, just keep out of the precinct, Frey. Take the weekend off. Seriously, Chief, is this about last night? If this is about me being at that party, I have a good reason for... You were at the party. <sighs> it makes me pause. Womp womp. His wary tone, the sudden careful note in his voice... Slowly, a frown forms on in my face, in my face, not on my face, but in my face. <laughs> God damn it. Slowly, a frown forms on my face, I, my eyebrows knitting together in confusion. Much as I hate to say this about my own boss, there's also suspicion in it. Hard not to think of it that way, seeing how he acted around Hannah Wright last night. Is he worried? Why should he be? Everyone who's anyone was invited. I didn't doubt for a second why he received an invite, even, his, even if his presence was questionable. There's something wrong, and I've unintentionally walked into it. The most oblivious fucker in this entire game. Yep. <laughs> All I have is this sneaking suspicion, but when one looks at this from a different angle, put everything together... Why the hell I've been taken off the case might be for the same reason he was there in the first place. Fuck! Yes, Chief. I was. For a good reason. What were you doing there? I know we don't have a strict rule against attending functions, but that was... He coughs, and it almost sounds like he's choking on his own excuses? Lies? Because he wants to bang Hannah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to accuse him of anything, yet he's someone I've respected since I joined LPD, even with his bizarre sense of humor and tendency to procrastinate. He's obviously competent enough to get the job done. He wouldn't be Chief Inspector of Luxbourne Police if he wasn't. He wouldn't last years in service without some track record backing him. Or someone lining his pocket. <laughs> Unless that, too, is a fluke. And what's backing him is not something, but someone. Oh. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking shit. Damn. Chief Harvey, <laughs> about last night with the... 
Why does it matter, Frey? This isn't about that. <laughs> I was over here laughing quietly as my mic was muted. <laughs> it was just like, Ashton, please, your brain is amazing. But I still want to punt you out a window and straight into the ghost girl. Because <laughs> you're an annoying little fucker. Um, why does it matter? Why does it matter? I'll recite the whole damn oath we've taken upon being sworn into service if I can, but at this point, it seems too late to remind him of that. He has probably already moved from serving protecting people to serving protecting his own interests. Welcome to being part of the police, kid. Jeez. <laughs> damn it. I've suspected the upper brass of this, even the lower rank subordinates in the force. But from my own boss? Shit, no wonder that leak didn't lead anywhere. Someone closer might have been pulling the strings. I might have been set up to fail long before the fucking case had been assigned to me. Lord, this character's inner monologue could basically be just Moon, because casually slipping the word, the fuck word like, in there. Between and... Moon and I, it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just so casual, just like you know, fucking case. It's like, what the hell, Ashton? Fuck that shit. <laughs> fucking this, fucking that. Shit, fucking damn fuck. <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to just give this up. I don't want to believe I've wasted an entire year for this. I don't want to be this... Uh, sorry, hold on. I don't want this to be the kind of news to tell Professor Clark, after all those promises I've given the man. I just want to know, sir, at the party, with Luke and Hannah Wright, you were... Monday, Detective Inspector. First thing in the morning. Every copy of the files you have, I want to see it all on my table, understood? This isn't... Frey, am I understood? What else can I do other than smile and nod? Wave. Waiting? Wave. Like, smile, nod, and wave. Oh, oh, gotcha. I thought you said wait. It's like, Smile away, boys. Smile away. Is, is, is there, is there a, is there an epiphany about to happen, Kime? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> give me the intrigue. Let's put on our tin caps and just hypothesize <laughs> about this game. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and Coco's like, let's not. Let's just keep going, please. I'm yawning. <laughs> <laughs> it's that boring. Intrigue is that boring to Coco. <laughs> <laughs> With my own superior expecting an answer, using that tone, brushing my questions off as easy as disregarding a dead bar uh, discarding a dead body. Yes. Yes, sir. Discarding a dead body is easy? I know, right? Yeah. It's not that easy. Coco. Coco? Coco, <laughs> do we need to have a discussion? <laughs> do we need to stop the recording so we can talk about this? Ooh, I have some more strawberry pocky, don't mind me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he cuts the line as soon as the words are out. You're off the case, Frey. Just like that. Funny why this has still caught me off guard. I've discovered years ago how different the actual thing is, how far from reality everything I've believed in as a dreamy-eyed kid. There are no high-speed pursuits every day, no thrilling gunfights or exciting cases every step of the way. Only paperwork, lots of red tape, and dealing with the politics and bureaucracy. Fun. I've set out to change things, hoping it'll make things better for the people I care about. It ended up changing me instead. Serves me right for being too idealistic, I guess. 
This is probably the universe telling me that it's better to remain skep the skeptic I really am. Mm, skeptic's one word for it. Clueless is another. <laughs> now, here I am, standing useless. Can't even do anything but grip my teeth and kick the wall. The... the bastard didn't even acknowledge my response. What did the poor wall ever do to you? Hello. <laughs> it figures Rebecca would be the one to find me in this embarrassing state. Honestly, I don't like it when she sees me like this, which seems to happen a lot regardless of what I want. Rebecca, now's not a good time. I freaked out for a minute because all of a sudden everything stopped. I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, same. I thought it crashed. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Coco's like, I'm used to this already. You guys are just getting sound back. <laughs> yeah. The concern I expect from her when I turn isn't there, however. Instead, she just looks, well. The storm I left brewing last night, it's right there on her face, ready to be unleashed. When is it ever a good time for you? You're always so busy with... with everything now. Well, not anymore. Did something happen? Nah, just the taskbar is in the way. Ah. Uh -oh. uh So I forgot who's the journal, reading. right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Ashton Frey received a phone call from the chief of Luxburn police first thing in the morning, informing him that he had been taking off the Luxburn firm case. Although his protest fell on deaf ears, the sudden turn of events pro proved a hunch. It didn't prove a hunch; it provided one. But okay. Now I find you here. Sneaking out without even bothering with a proper goodbye. Not even a word. Really, I'm starting to think you're just keeping me around for my couch and my cooking. Becca, it's not what you're thinking. I wasn't planning on sneaking out. I was going to say goodbye. I just had to take this call. Although, I'm not gonna lie. Couch is great. 10 out of 10. Would sleep again. <laughs> Stop it with the jokes, Ashton. I'm not in the mood. Her bitterness is not lost on me, but at this dang it, this there we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. She merely raises an eyebrow at me, which, to be honest, is all the response I need. Seeing her like this makes me believe those things Z Man says. The part where Rebecca scares him sometimes. I've certainly seen this more than once already. But the familiarity of it doesn't really take away from the downhill turn this conversation's starting to take. <clears throat> Only an awkward cough serves as a way to stall. Okay, of course you're still mad. But whatever happened last night, I really am sorry. I'll apologize as many times as you want. If you want, I'd even kneel or something. Ashton, an apology is nice and all, but that's not what I wanted to hear from you today. All right, fine, okay. Where do you want to start? Oh, I don't know. I've honestly lost track of it by your third trip to the buffet table. I wasn't... The drive up there took a bit. Can you blame me if I wanted to grab some appetizers? Oh, come on, Ash. For the whole evening? For the whole party? Please, don't tell me that's all you did, because I've never known you as someone who pigs out. You even took great lengths to avoid me. Should I also mention how you ignored Zack? Sometimes I get the feeling you don't want to be seen with us in public. Some friendship, huh? You know it's not like that. It's never going to be like that, Becca. I was... I'll ask this again. Just what were you up to during the party? 
And with that, we will leave this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Would you like to join us if that would help you guys? Uh, Vivi and Minnie? We're just, this is pretty much just an excuse for us to chat. <laughs> Social activity! Social links. You know, like that one video game. Your social link with four pixels has increased. <laughs> it means you're closer to becoming part of the hive mind. Oh, look, it's me! No! My new special granddaughter! <laughs> Crap, now we're in Phoenix, right? <laughs> I want you to have this sealed envelope. I remember that voice. Phoenix as, as the... <laughs> no, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close as I grope the sheets. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Mood. You mean today? Uh, this exact moment? And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Wow, that's real. <laughs> Same though. Yeah, that's playing DDLC. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Thanks, Dan Salvata. <laughs> now Concerned let Grandpa also. die. <laughs> no, let Grandpa enter the void! <laughs> I've always wanted- like the judge, though. <laughs>